There's a car honest. coming. There's a car coming. Thirty's going on. From the top room. What's up my fellow alcoholics and welcome to the channel and in today's video I'm basically going to cover the myth or so-called rumors that aiming stability attachments aid in weapon recoil control or recoil stabilization pretty much recoil all around um, a lot of rumors are going around saying that it helps with recoil helps you stay on target a lot easier when while firing and over a long period of time of firing so I basically did some testing in this video and I'm going to share all the results with you guys and we'll just see for ourselves if that actually is a true fact instead of fiction. So um, basically I took a kilo and I kitted the kilo with all of the attachments that have aiming stability. So the TAC laser has aiming stability um, for the stock, the Syngard Arms Sniper Pro stock has aiming stability for the rear grip. It was the granulated grip tape that has aiming stability. And uh, for the underbarrel, now there's a couple attachments that have aiming stability. One is which the, the commando foregrip has it. And um, the ranger foregrip also, also has it. Uh, but the best one, the one that just strictly has aiming stability, is the tactical foregrip. So I threw the tactical foregrip on for this testing purpose. Um, I'll explain a little more about the other four grips and why it seems like they help. But uh, going to the wall test, I basically did one recoil pattern with a standard bone stock kilo. And as you can see here, I'm throwing on all the attachments that deal with aiming stability. And it's basically all the ones that I covered. And what I'm going to do next, I'm mean, after, of course, I kill myself because you, you have to kill yourself to revive or i'm sorry respawn and with the next loadout <clears throat> excuse me i uh, run back to the wall and basically i put a couple more recoil patterns and recoil example examples into the wall just to see if this is actually true so there is the previous uh recoil pattern for no attachments whatsoever and then with the next recoil pattern obviously as you guys saw i put all the attachments on you can see at the bottom right hand corner the attachments around the gun and lo and behold, the recoil pattern is exactly the same. The first two shots have huge gaps in them because of the gun is kicking vertically. And then it has another gap between the actual cluster uh, to the last, or the, I should say the second shot. So I fired one more pattern just to see if that might have been like a little fluke. Maybe something changed, but lo and behold... No change to the recoil pattern whatsoever. It, it pretty much is the same. I don't see a difference in it. Maybe you guys do. Feel free to comment down below if you do. Please let me know if you guys see a difference. Now, what aiming stability really does for your weapons is notice how the kilo has some swaying to it. It's kind of like a figure eight kind of. It's moving back and forth. It's not really sitting still in the middle there. With aiming stability attachments, what it's going to do for the gun is it's going to not sway as much or not at all, depending on how much you load up on aiming stability. And if you notice here, the gun is barely moving. I can't even see it move right now. And, and But pretty much this is what it does. It, it helps you and aids you in your first shot accuracy if you're holding a point or if you're holding an angle and you're ADSing. Now, another thing that aiming stability will do for you, uh, especially with the granulated grip tape, is notice how the gun is bobbing left and right, up and down, up and down, kind of making you seem like you're very inaccurate. With these attachments, what it'll actually do for the gun is the same thing that it did while holding a steady aim. It'll hold a steadier aim while walking, so that way you actually can see your target a lot better. So for the accuracy part, it aids you in your ability... <clears throat> excuse me you're in your ability to actually see your target 
Now, there really is no way to test this while firing to see if it aids in recoil control or anything like that because while you're walking and shooting at a target like that, you're already fighting the recoil and trying to control the recoil. So there is no real way to see if it helps while you happen to be ADSing and strafing back and forth. Um, that's a mystery in itself. That is the real myth. If somebody can actually prove that to me, then we'll know exactly what it is that aiming stability can do for your recoil control. Now going back to the commando foregrip and the operator foregrip, if it seems like while having those on and having aiming stability on there, it seems like it actually is helping your recoil control and recoil stabilization is because those two grips are actually designated to help and aid in recoil control and or recoil stabilization. So that's why it might feel like, oh, aiming stability is on there and it's helping me stay more accurate. I'm gonna put more aiming stability stuff on. That is actually false. It is the actual foregrips themselves that are aiding in both the horizontal or your vertical recoil. So that's it for this video, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it was useful. If you guys did learn something and you'd like to see more kind, uh, more stuff like this, please drop down in the comments. Let me know if you guys want me to figure out any other myths or uh, any other types of things that you guys are worried about or considering if it's uh, real or not real, if it helps or this and that. Pretty much myth busting. If you guys want me to figure that out for the weapons, please let me know down in the comments below. Thank you so much for stopping by. Appreciate you guys, and I'll catch you all next time.